good morning. Oi, oi. Ah, I've been, been busy a few days. But, um, been thinking, been talking to a few people about this life philosophy that I'm trying to put together and with the idea of basically rolling it out to people and to the younger generations of my family actually so they don't have to go through a lot of the bullshit that I went through and um, hopefully you'll find it useful as well so um, as I keep saying it's really about the attitude you have but it's one thing to say it's about the attitude you have and sort yourself out but um, you really do need sort of a uh, a little bit of a life principle to go by. Um, so it's, you know, a bit of the extension. As Jim Rohn used to say, live with no apologies and with no complaints. But the thing is, if you don't know where you're going, you don't know what you're doing, you've got no sense of purpose, no sense of direction, that is really difficult. Um, so, if I break things down into, I think, the three elements that really helped me focus, this, in a nutshell, is it. Um, in layperson's terms, what you want to do is you want to have something that you really believe in. Okay, something that you really... So for some people it's religion, for some people it's family, uh, for some people it's a skill, something that they do that makes them feel really good about themselves. So something that you can really... And I'm going to use the word spiritually, but it has to be something you really feel in your balls, in your, in your heart, and you um, something that really drives you. So you connect that up. You hook it up and you use that as a force of, uh, as, a, as a drive, as, um, as an energy to get you going. Next thing you do, you get your body sorted. So you sort your health out as best you can. So you sort sorted out physically, because you've sorted your body out, and you've sorted out spiritually, because you have something that you deeply, 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 I'll cross the road before I get knocked over, something that you deeply believe in. So those are, those are the two points you get sorted out. Then there's the third point, which is critically important, which is you need to sort yourself out emotionally. Because if you don't do that, you'll keep giving yourself bullshit excuses. Oh, my kids don't believe in me. My boyfriend's a problem. My wife keeps getting me down. Those are just excuses that we use when the other two things aren't fixed, aren't, aren't sorted out. Because if you really are deeply, spiritually, emotionally connected to something, and you're fit and healthy, and so your body's working properly, your mind is working properly because you're nourishing yourself, and you're out there and you're physical and you're doing things, all these bullshit excuses that you usually use will actually become insignificant. They'll fade away. The bullshit will still be there. You just won't care. And that's the difference. So if you are oh, this, oh that, it's because you really do need to pull your fingers out and get your life together. Um, and it is difficult if you're not looking after yourself physically because there'll be physiological reasons, um, neurological reasons why things aren't ticking the way they should and, and then you're really pushing shit uphill. So get yourself sorted physically. And then also find something that you are really proud of, love to engage in. Good morning. Um, to get you sorted spiritually. So like I said, for some people it's religion, for some people it's family, um, or something else that you're really, really passionate about. But once you connect those three things together, you'll suddenly start to find that all these wonderful coincidences start to happen in your life. That's a beach. That. Go for my run. So, even if you don't, it's like another thing I was talking to my brother about. It's a bit like running a car. If you just get these three things together, things will just work for you. You don't have to know why or how, they will just work. And that's because as an organism, all of the things that you need to pull together as a human machine are just in sync and things will just work. So as I say, don't offer any apologies or any, any complaints, just do the work and shit will work out fine because there will always be shit it's like a layer cake you know as you go through life you're up to your knees and shit then as you start to get things together you know you're in a, a little less shit and then one day you'll be sipping the rarefied air but there will still be shit there always is but basically your quality of life comes down to how well you deal with it and um, and how much you care so anyway have a cracking day i'm off to do my run so uh 
big love. Hope that was useful. And I'll see you later. Ta-da.